experience about the bill he's proposing that has passed through the first reading the bill that contains you know seeking to jail someone 10 years if you did not sing the national anthem or the, the bill to jail you know agitators who are agitating for their human right maybe to leave the country or for self-determination to jail them for 20 years you know the bill sparked controversy and you know what the likes of more relation already said if you do not withdraw this bill get ready that the national assembly will be shut down within 48 hours the heavy protest that people were preparing this evening. People were preparing heavy protests, heavy tension that people wanted to mount in Abuja tomorrow. But God saved the man. Maybe DSS or the man just got intelligence of what is about to happen in National Assembly tomorrow. You know what he did? He withdrew the statement. Now, first of all, let's let's understand the threat from Omoyo de Shore. It says Shore issues ultimatum to Nigerian federal lawmakers withdraw controversial counter subversion bill or face national assembly shutdown that was what the morning they already said about six hours ago now it reads that the morning they already convener of revolution now movement has strongly criticized the house of representatives for introducing the counter subversion bill 2024 the bill proposed several pen, uh, severe penalties for Nigerians who fail to recite national anthem, anthem among others. Shore, a former presidential candidate of the African Action Congress AAC in the 2020, 2023 general election, described the bill as buffonery and predicted that it will lead to an earlier than expected uh, re, resurgence of the end by governance movement. Now, when Shore made this statement this morning that uh, the speaker should withdraw the bill, a lot of people did not even understand where the statement was coming from, that he is going to shut down the National Assembly. <laughs> you see, until we begin to let all this government understand that the power belongs to the people, that if the people come together and rise, there is nothing that will stop them. Now, the speaker, the reason why they are bringing out this bill is because the North are preparing for a massive protest and they did not announce the date. This is a top secret. And secondly, Oemo Yoneshore has also announced that the protest will recommence in October 1st, which is the Independence Day. So there is a high tension above, coupled with the agitations going on in Nigeria, the tensions from the North to the South, East to West. So these people, they were afraid, they were terrified. And the only thing they could do is to make sure they bring a deal that will make people not to come out in the streets. But who are you going to bring the deal for? We or yourself? We are not in 2012. We were mobilizing to shut down the National Assembly tomorrow. And there is nothing that will happen because that bill was a military coup. And I'm sorry to say military coup. That bill was a parliamentary coup against the people. <laughs> that was a coup because the bill was made to strike the whole fundamental human rights from us. They wanted to just cripple everything. You can't even talk on social media if you criticize government, you go to three years in prison. It was in that bill. So rubbish. So, about one hour ago, I'm just making this video after the statement from the Speaker um, House of Representatives, and I started making this video. It says, breaking, Nigeria House of Rep Speaker Bass bows to pressure, withdraw controversial counter subversion bill. What do you make and withdraw? If we we'll leave him now, I think this man's supposed to leave this bill and see how the people are going to react and let him come out to tell people what led him to bring in the bill. The man in a statement said that uh, he borrowed the bill from the UK, Indian, Turkey, and China. <laughs> oh God. So when we are talking about that, these people are Western puppets. So he borrowed, he borrowed the bill from other country. <laughs> All right, let's look at the articles. It's a breaking Nigeria House of Reps speaker bars, bars to pressure withdraw controversial counter subversion bill. Now, the article reads Tajuddin Abbas, speaker of the House of Representatives, has withdrawn the controversial counter subversion bill. In a statement from Musa Abdullahi Krishi, his special advice. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives has proposed a bill to jail Nigerians who refuse to recite the national, uh, the national anthem. The bill, named the Counter Subversion Bill 2024, aims to impose stringent penalties on Nigerians for various reasons. According to the proposed legislation, everyone and anyone found guilty of refusing to recite the national anthem shall be fined 5 million naira, face a 10-year prison sentence or both. 
Anyone who destroys a national symbol or a place of worship shall be liable to the same punishment. The bill sponsored by Speaker Tajuddin Abbas is set for its second reading, where its general principles will be debated. The Speaker appreciates the interest Nigerians have so far shown on the bill, which relates to national security.